Hi there, my name is Aaron Short. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Now, does your guitar make unnecessary noise? If so, you've come to the right place. I want to say this, if you're completely happy with your guitar, you don't play high gain music with loud output pickups or record acoustic guitar, if you're completely happy and not bothered by any weird sounds, please do not watch this video under any circumstance. I say that in jest, but the reason I'm saying it is simply because I've played guitar for many, many, many years and never noticed this issue. Now, to me that's weird because I'm pretty good at finding issues, as my friends will tell you, but this is the issue. And it's not a big deal, but this could be very useful to some players. This is a Fender Stratocaster, has quite low output, single coil pickups. So when I play through an amp at any kind of volume, there is no issue. I just hear the amp and I don't hear the strings or any weird sounds. I do live in an apartment. I don't want to make too much noise, so I do play at quiet volumes. And there is some noise you hear, for, obviously from the strings, it's a good reason to wear in-ears, but there's also some ringing sounds from the guitar. Now, if you play a heavy metal guitar with loud output pickups, you will definitely hear this, and that's why you see people use the fret wrap here around the nut. I actually have one of those, it's by Grub Gear, and I'll put a link below, because I will be using this today. It's very, very cool, and I believe every guitarist should own one. So if you play high gain amps with loud pickups, you probably are aware of this issue already, you probably know how to fix it. But there's actually two sides to this, what I'm gonna show you today. The first thing is this. If I mute the strings on this guitar, hold it near the mic and strum, put some headphones on and listen very carefully. Do you hear that bell-like sound after the string attack decays? Right, is that a problem? Not really. But check this out, if you take your guitar and rest your finger over the nut here where the strings are behind the nut and do that again, the high ringing has gone. There's just a bit of ringing from somewhere else. We'll get to that. So that's the first thing. Now, if you're playing loud, if you're playing a guitar like this, it's not a problem. You're not going to hear it. You don't need to do anything. If these sounds are a problem, then just get yourself one of these Grub Gear wraps. They're just like 10 bucks around that price, give or take. You can get them from Sweetwater or Amazon, and I'll put links below. So all you do is this. Put it around the strings here and Velcro it back on itself. And it's just going to replace what I did with my finger there. So now, no sound here. I do hear some sound from down here. So that's really helped a lot. Now, if you don't like how that looks, I actually think it looks kind of cool. And the good thing about this is you can move it up here. If you do finger tapping, you can move it here. It will also deaden any ringing when you do finger tapping. If you don't finger tap, you could just get a piece of foam or something, a nicer piece of foam than this cut it to go under the strings, especially when you restring the guitar, you could have that under those strings, cut very nicely, and then no one will see it, it's very inconspicuous. But these things are great, I believe every guitarist should own one of these, it's really, really useful. So what is that other sound we're hearing? Even with this there, like this, I'm still hearing a sound. That sound, if you have tremolo springs, is the sound of your springs rattling again from the resonances of the guitar. So we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take the back plate off the guitar and put some foam in there to cushion the springs so they can't move around. Again, you could get some nice tube wrapping to put around the spring, make it look nice. But just to prove my point today, I'm gonna to use this foam. So check this out, I'll show you how I'm gonna do it. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is take my screwdriver, of course, and remove the back plate. Sometimes we don't have a back plate on the guitar, but I do because this actually works as a grounding mechanism as well. It removes some of the noise from these single coil pickups. So I can't remove it all the way because there is a cable connecting it, but I will take it off to show you what I'm gonna do. It's very simple. Again, if you don't hear this through the amp, why do it? But if you do, then this is a really cool tip and I'm gonna do it to my guitars from now on. So carefully remove the plate. Again, this one is attached. I've got to be very careful. So these springs have movement. I wish they would insulate them at the factory. But anyway, I'm just using this cheap foam that I have 
Doesn't look great. You're not going to see it under the plate anyway. You could get some nicer foam or you could put some like rubber tubing wrap around the spring just to keep it so it won't knock the sides, it won't move around anywhere. All I'm going to do is take this foam and I'm going to put it under the spring like this. Just going to push it under there. You could carefully remove the spring and put it under, but I'm just going to push it under. Again, this is just for demonstration purposes. You definitely want to make sure it's well secured in there and will not move around over time. But there's a piece under there. I'll put another piece on this side. But I need, I need to watch these cables. And you could put a lot of foam in here. You really want to make sure that these things are not going to move around. Okay. So I'll put that under this one. And a piece in the middle under that one. This is just some foam I had from a room insulating pad. You could use any kind of foam. I mean, be careful what you put in your guitar, but this is good. So you can see that's under there. Again, I could put more in there as well, but I think that's enough to prove my point today. So that should just stop the springs rattling a little bit. So, okay, put this back carefully. Make sure the holes line up. And just put the screws back in like this. Be very careful that your screwdriver does not slip. You don't want to scratch your guitar. That would be terrible. All right. So now we have that in here. Let's go back and see what it sounds like. Okay, so I'm back again. And now the guitar has the foam around the tremolo springs in the back. And it has the Grub Gear fret wrap again from Sweetwater or Amazon. I'll put a link below right here. Now check out the difference. I'll go close to the mic and listen very carefully with headphones. There's now just one, there's a one like ping, maybe from the, from the uh, tremolo springs because I need to put more foam there. There's one little dink, but before there was a loud bell type ringing sound. This has made a big difference and I'm really happy with it. So again, you could use foam here, but these fret wraps are great and you can use it on multiple guitars and they're just 10 bucks, well around 10 bucks, so why not have one? I think that's great. I think it looks good too and you can get different colors as well. And I've got the foam in there. I could put more foam in there. Really make sure those springs are not moving at all. And then you're gonna have no noise. Again, I think it's better, it's cleaner. It's gonna be great for recording. It's gonna be great for playing heavy, loud distorted sounds through high output pickups and that's the most important thing here so i think it's a great tip and here's the thing now i've heard that sound from a guitar i can't unhear it so this to me makes complete sense especially if you've got the tremolo springs as well that's a lot of extra noise from your guitar and especially if you play at low volumes like i do now one more thing this does apply to acoustic as well let me grab my martin the same thing applies check it out that's a lot of noise can you hear that Now check this out. Silent. So it is, on that guitar, it is the tremolo springs. I need to secure them better. Look at the difference on this acoustic because you can hear the actual sound from the body as well. That's a long sustained noise. And now check it out here. Please do that on your guitars and tell me if you can hear it and if you agree with me. Again, I've never in all my life had a problem with that. So I don't think it's really an issue, but here's when it's an issue. It's an issue if you want to be very, very clean in your playing. It's an issue if you're recording, because just imagine if I was recording this guitar with a mic here for some reason at this end of the guitar, it would be picking up that sound. But now with this on there, it's dead silent. Amazing. I love it. You'll be seeing me use these all the time now. Go get yourself a set of these, get a pack of these Grub Gear wraps. I think it's absolutely brilliant. Yes, again, don't get obsessive about these things. It's gonna be drowned out by your amp or the acoustic guitar most of the time. But like I said, if you're playing high gain, if you're recording, or if you just want the absolute cleanest sound you could ever have, these things for what they cost are absolutely brilliant. I'm gonna use them all the time now. Absolutely amazing. Can't say enough good things about them. If you've experienced this yourself, please write in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you all. And if you haven't and you check these out, please let me know what you think. I think it's totally, totally worth it. It makes a huge difference. Well, until next time, please stay noise free and use your fret wraps. 
Subscribe if you haven't, ring the notification bell, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.